Are you kidding me? Why would you do this? Look at this. He's playing Usurper. On the first day of the expansion. The expansion came out like... I don't know, 8 hours ago? And he's playing Usurper. This is the face of evil, guys. Now you know. <laughs> Wait, what? I got my hero power? No, no, no. We lost it. Hey, what's up, Usurper? I'm just gonna wave to you. Stop ignoring me! He's not even making eye contact! I'm not waving and everything. What a bastard. Now he's just roping. Super was your first matchup today. <laughs> You were playing Usurper because you hate fun, so you understand this guy? Damn it. Just killed that. Ancient Chevern. Even has a square tail logo, or just a uh, <coughs> motto. I don't know what, what that means. What's up? I'm just gonna do my little dance and wave to you. But he's just completely ignoring me. Usurper, what the hell? I, li I like that uh, Dana is just like straight up, just like looks at the other leader. And Usurper is just like, wait. Uh, that's because it's his turn. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He turns toward me. Oh, of course. He turns toward me a little bit. Like in this angle. And even like this, I'm not fully... Uh, turn toward the board. Uh, let's just go with the smuggler. Time to make intense eye contact with Usurper while he completely ignores me. What do you guys think about the expansion? What they did right, what they did, didn't did do as right, and uh, did, did it live up to the hype? I just just the initial impression so far, I suppose. Uh, let's do a Dried Ranger. Leave while you still stand. So far, I, I believe the main thing that I'm missing, after after playing like a lot of games, and uh, the main thing I'm personally missing is a new soundtrack. Because when I when I fired up Crimson Curse expansion, it was it had a new soundtrack and it sounded great. But. Uh, that was only the main menu, which was, uh, unfortunately disappointing. Ah, uh, actually if we get the Infiltrator, that's okay, but I suppose we're just gonna... Actually, yeah, this is a 6. Fine, we can just keep the Dry Fledgling and kill that. That's... And we can boost... I don't know if you want to boost the Dried Fledgling any further, but we can boost Barnabas, for example. I got so boosted. Boosted again. I passed. Press pass. Do I need to break space? What went right? Everything. What went wrong? Nothing. In the only of God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Actually, the guy looks pretty fun. I don't think it went wrong that much. That's an okay card.
Oh, we got Shadow and Skaggs here. So, we're just gonna boost, boost Shadow and Skaggs. It's not perfect, but I'm happy as, as can be. It's really fucking good. Uh, definitely agree. <laughs> Vampires aren't as good as I've thought. New meta is fun so far. Cards are just as broken as I've thought. <laughs> I suppose that's kind of too early to say. But it does look like a very good expansion. Very well put together. No. The only thing I'm missing, again, I I'm kind of missing the soundtrack. Just something new, because my initial impression after the menu, if they didn't change this, uh, the menu uh, music, I may have not even mentioned it. But because they changed it, I kind of expected different music, and... Uh, and... Uh, unfortunately, that's not the case. I haven't played in a long time, but it looks solid. Yeah. A new soundtrack is from Witcher 3, Blood and Vine, I think. I'm not necessarily suggesting that uh, they should have uh, went out of their way to just record new, new, uh, a new soundtrack. But uh, they could have just changed uh, the active uh, music that's in the game. So, instead of like the, the music we have, Right now, I'm not not sure you say it's from Blood and Vine, uh, but do they have other uh, tracks that they can use? Maybe that could be uh, pretty good. But that's like a little bit nitpicky on my part, but it would be nice. I think it would have helped a lot just to uh, help the atmosphere. So it just feels like I'm playing the Crimson Curse here. Also, one other thing that I would would have liked to see is that the boards change a little bit. So it's like it's Crimson Curse time. So maybe like some some little change to the boards uh, that could indicate that now you're playing the Crimson Curse. Crimson Curse is uh, the only card with Blood Moon effect, is it? Yeah, as far as I know. So this guy has got to go away. And I need to be a little careful here. We have a... No, no, I actually don't have to deal with an Infiltrator. I can draw it to some good cards and some less good cards. I can just throw away the Dryad Fledgling. Ah, oh, Sheldon Skaggs. Alright. We gotta count the primary category of the units we have. We got one human, two triants. So I can actually play a triant. I also I can forget about my hero power, despite uh, working so hard to get it. Up is a meme card. <laughs> uh, as far as I know, it's like a 3.2 damage card for 5. So it's like, okay. It's an okay card. New board would be great. Hmm. Cold vamps plus death fishes work better. Kill the dog fiddlers! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, five damage. So I can play the dried fledgling. Unfortunately, I'm kind of low on the, the premium dust now. But I'll make some uh, pretty green ladies later. Hey, Kuma. Roll into Damien. Easy usurper Vin.
But if you play uh, Uma, then by your the on on a wild ride. Oh my God, a seer! So we want to play Water of Broccolon. And it's about damn time to play the Smuggler. Actually, we're gonna play the Dried Ranger. Yeah. I'm not sure what he's hoping to pull with the Summoning Circle, but it's a great card in the long run, so... And it's actually also best used by just to play two Bronzes, or two five... Five to four power bronzes. Sometimes I've had one. Fight for the Emperor! Oh. You might be freed! Okay, it's time to play a ranger. Uh, let's just hit one of the witchers. Your next move shall be your last! It's poisoned! If nothing else, we're just gonna use Sheldon Skaggs to kill the Seer. And it... It might be uh, our best move with her. Or... Uh, Skaggs. We're playing the Smuggler next for sure. It's still worth playing. If not by strength, then by stealth. Not sure why he played it in the back. Special prize, just for you, love. Skaggs is pretty tall. You're only gonna get uh oh well, two two buffs with uh, Barnabas and the Agitator and uh well oh, Dryads. This deck is somewhat vulnerable to removal and uh, control, of course. These uh, dryads are pretty damn easy to kill. Because, begone, you devils! Point. Wake up, dwarves! Humans lust after our lady folk! Yeah, I'm gonna play the crushing trap later. Ruver might be uh, still better than this Dryad deck. Especially if the Dryad deck likes to put everything in one row. Yeah, just keep waving to Usurper. It's gonna work. I suppose we can go with Barnabas. I'm not supposed to be a huh. Is gonna keep playing in the melee row? One is deciding. Say it in you are dogs, and I shall no. treat you as such. He has so much stuff already that I might as well play the rushing trap. Well, that's gonna be crushing trap value. Does he have a commander's horn as well? The problem with the uh, usurper, you just go for like a generic strategy. So it seems like he's going for just a uh, simple soldier spam. But I'm going for control. But 
Does he even have any tricks left? Or he's just gonna spam soldiers? I also have the theory that maybe this great great oak only works with face up cards. So anything that's face down doesn't work. I don't really see him. Oh, he might play something back. Let's go with the great oak. Okay, what's last? A Leo? Good job, usurper. GG. Okay. Got a fancy guy here. Uh, not that. Or that. That. Manuke! Laugh. So... Well, maybe we're just gonna go with the smuggler. Special prize. Just and just boost it. Right. I had these fights before, and uh, I I don't think I've lost the monsters yet. That is certainly annoying. Leave while you still stand. Ah, oh, come on, archers. Tempo. If he plays another low tempo unit, like that one, I'm just gonna pass. And now he has to play a relatively big unit. And, well, he can have a uh, three point drive, but he still needs to play a unit that's an eight. Nine. So it's, it's gotta be a big unit. Or you can just keep playing some bronze crap <laughs> units. Oh. I suppose he can also have Roach. So, we wanna boost Shadow Skags. Uh, we don't care about that guy. The Dryad Matrons are actually fairly interesting. Especially if we can save them for later. Uh, the Archer is not gonna be any more useful. Oh, that's actually terrible. Uh, we can go with the Egling. A start. Current plan is to yeah. Plan changed. Uh, 
Uh, we need to establish some value generation. He's just gonna poison me again. Sasuke is very powerful, but it's usually not gonna get a lot of value last round. And it Sasuke, don't die! Stop with the poison! That needs to die. If I play the Dryad Fledgling, it's gonna be pretty damn slow. And I'm not gonna have any more Dryads in the hand. I need... I need some Dwarfs, Dryads and... and Elves. Dwarfs, Dryad, Elf. I gotta keep the Dryad. We can play Milva. The Bleed is certainly annoying. Oh, he's gonna kill it for sure. That's thriving. They can hide, but there is no escape. <laughs> this can be played for thirteen points. Plus these trigger as well. But it's not quite enough. No! Let the dough live! Let's go with that for now. Maybe he wants to force out my hero power. Yeah, that's pretty strong. We can play Shadow Skags for 16 points. Plus, it's gonna trigger these two. And we get an extra point. Oh my god, no! Shame on you. No, no, don't hit that! That has a shield on it, even if we don't see it. I did not that mistake before. It doesn't look like it, look at that. Just the orange in the corner. He has, he has like fucking orange in the pocket. That's it! Ah. <sighs> But no. Apparently, that orange is gonna save him. Pass. Yay! That's a bad card. That's okay. Well, we can combo these guys, but not the best combo. Yeah, that's not the best either, although, we can get out something. Make it... better. 
Maybe we're just gonna get rid of the skirmisher. Actually, we can play Sursa. But unfortunately, I have to go first. I would go with something like Boar. Yeah, but all of these are aggressive plays. No matter what I do, I'm losing value. I can do something like Dryad's Fledgling. Give me more of those. Monster archetype does have uh, some damage at least, so not too bad to fight against it. Nah, we just lose. I should have mulliganed. Wait, what? Did it bleed? No, we're good. He's game. Never doubted it. His last card was pretty bad. GG. Apparently, pushing uh, the Dryads is a uh, is a decent way to win against them. Even if even if he loses a card. Um, yeah, I can't really do much with a per well, at least with this deck round three. So, GG.